So I thought I'd do something a little bit different and something I didn't do last year and I'm going to be doing my most surprising movies of the year. Movies that I didn't expect to to be what they were. Necessarily not as good, maybe not as as bad. Uh, you know, I, I, as I talked about in my best of, I said the anticipated movies that I did last year were actually ended up being pretty good. So for a majority of these movies, uh, movies that kind of just surprised me or maybe how good they were came and came out of nowhere or maybe just kind of flopped. But let's let's get into this list. Coming in at number seven, a movie that I necessarily don't say is surprising because I liked it as much as I thought I'd like it, but the reaction has to be very surprised, and that is The Last Jedi. I did not expect this movie to be that controversial. When the the Force Awakens came out, everyone kind of simultaneously went, "Yeah, it's pretty fucking good." I myself said it was decent, but it wasn't as as good as people said. This one has been very I fucking hated or I fucking love it, and there's no you know, I found some middle ground in that. But you know, I've, I've been very surprised by the mixed reaction towards this movie. Uh, not even after just seeing it, but in general as a Star Wars film, I didn't expect to have this reaction. Number six, a movie uh, before, you know, really early on seeing it was a Stephen King one and what it was going to be, I thought it'd be pretty good, but it did not turn out that way. That is The Dark Tower. This movie is very, very average. It is kind of just falls by the waistband and promotes everything it does, but I didn't expect this. I expected it to be a very good movie, honestly. I was pretty... Pretty pumped. When I heard people saying it was a pretty shit, I was like, okay. It didn't like go walk in and go, everyone says shit, it was really good. I, you know, a few months back saying it was good, I thought it'd be pretty good. And it surprised me when people were calling it shit and then watching it, I was truly surprised. <laughs> Coming in at number five, a movie that I put on my top 10 best list that I initially thought was going to be mediocre at best, The Greatest Showman. When I saw the trailer for this movie, I didn't expect, I thought it looked great, maybe had some good music, but I really, really enjoyed this movie. I had a lot of fun with this movie. I put it on my best list because it is one of the best movies, in my opinion, of the year. It is one of the best musicals I've ever seen in the cinema, and it just delivers on pretty much every, you know, musical facet and musical convention. It does. It does very, very well, and I was not expecting that at all from this movie. I thought this was going to be a very average movie. A lot of people wouldn't like it because it's a shitty musical, but... Yeah, there you go, they got me. Number four, the least anticipated DCEU film, for my personal opinion, a movie that I said I don't really love the character, so I might, probably won't like the film as much, even if it is good, and I wasn't expecting it to be good, and that is Wonder Woman. Not only was this movie good, I actually really got behind Wonder Woman Gal Gadot. I really did enjoy this movie. I enjoyed all the side characters, I enjoyed Steve Trevor, I enjoyed One Woman herself, and... Pretty much everything this movie did, I really, really liked, and I was not expecting that. Not only because of the run DCEU have had their movies of Suicide Squad, Batman, and Superman, that they gave me a character I didn't really look forward to seeing on the big screen, and they showed me up. So well done. Third, number three, a movie that I thought was going to be pretty much dog shit when I saw the trailer for this movie, and I saw them making it. I was like, what are they doing? And they showed me up, and that is Jumanji: Welcome to the Jungle. I had a lot of fun with this movie. This one is one of, one of the most entertaining films of the year. Uh, it is just a lot of fun on screen. The acting is really fun to watch. You know, Jack Black play a girl that I thought was very much going to get annoying. It didn't. This movie pretty much did everything that I didn't expect it to do and gave me a, a fun and good film. Surprisingly as fuck. You know, hats off to them. Number two, a movie that I think two of the seven that I expected... To be pretty good ended up being dog shit, or close to dog shit, The Snowman. This movie has been on a lot of people's worst list of the movie. I don't think this is worst of the year quality, but I think it comes close. I think this movie was meant to be really fucking good from the trailers I saw and the idea. I was like, this could be good. you got, you know, Oscar actors in this movie. You've got just great shit going on. You've got a great plot. How do you go wrong? And they showed me. They show me, he goes, you know what? You think I, oh, oh, you think we got a good movie on our hands? I'll show you. And they did. They gave us a fucking, you know, below average movie, to say the least. And coming in at number one, the most surprising movie of the year, in my personal opinion, is Happy Death Day. I did a review on this movie and I talked about how much I had a fun time with this movie. This movie is definitely a lot of fun. 
It is a darker comedy. I wouldn't say it's a comedy about mu murder. It's not really a horror movie, but I thought this was going to just be a shitty, you know, big grade horror movie, and it was completely different. It it took a little bit of a spin on murder and a bit of a spin on horror, and they did something really fresh and new with it, and something I can get behind. And yes, we've seen the Groundhog Day plot, but the the way they used it was very much different with the the murdering going on. But I had a hell of a lot of movie uh, fun with this movie, and yes, there is some flaws in this movie, and I'm not saying it's a perfect movie, but I definitely really really enjoyed happy death day thank you guys for watching my surprises of the year i really had some explanations that didn't necessarily pan out whether it's a good way or a bad way um and that's going to happen with everyone and probably happen next year and the year after that and year after that which shows me why i'm going to be doing the most anticipated movie list in a couple of days that will be up and i'll talk about the movies i'm excited for for this coming year for 2018 but Till then, you guys can press subscribe to keep updated. You can like, you can comment below what your biggest surprise of the year was. But of course, have a good one.